Okay guys, so before this tutorial starts, I want you to check out RaymondDigital.com. It's basically a website where you can get like really awesome high quality intro templates that are really easy to edit. All the info is in the description down below. Yeah, yeah. What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome to this Sony Vegas tutorial. And in this video guys, we are going to talk about the NCS circle that NCS uses in all their videos and there's so many questions around it. You're asking why the hell are you wearing sunglasses? That's a good question. I'm going to show you guys in today's Sony Vegas tutorial how to make the NCS uh, circle, the visualizer move. So I would say let's start off with the actual video. Alright guys, so as you guys can see we're on Sony Vegas and there are a few things you need to in order to make this. So I'm going to pop up a folder that you guys can download. So there are four things we need. The first thing is a nice background. The second thing is the logo of No Copyright Sounds. third one is the No Copyright Sounds visualizer, the circle, also a song. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the first thing which is, which is, which is a nice background. So I'm going to drag in the background in here. So as you can see right here, we have a beautiful background of a hill at night and they also lower the opacity a little bit. So it made it a little bit darker. So I would say this looks fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a real thumbnail of a video so I can align the logo and the circle. So let me drag in a random thumbnail of a NCS video real quick. A few moments later. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have a nice uh, thumbnail of a uh, NCS video. So we're gonna use this one like a template just to align the logo and the circle. So the next thing they wanna do is we dragged in our background as you guys can see. So I'm going to place this one right here. Then we're going to drag in the NCS logo. You can find all the files in the folder on the, in the description below. So I'm going to just place in the NCS logo, but it's way too big. So what I'm going to do I'm going to right click create a new video track and I'm going to place this logo on top of it as you guys can see it's way too big so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the track motion icon on the left the white one and we're going to just drag this smaller and smaller until it fits exactly on the logo so let me just resize it a little bit so let's see if it works so if I place this guy next to it it should be like the exact same it should be the exact same size and I'm going to just close that out and I'm, I'm, now I'm going to or like remove the thumbnail for the video real quick. And as you guys can see, we have a nice NCS logo on the perfect place and then with the black and a bit of background. So the next thing that we're going to do, the next one is the visualizer. Now, you guys don't need to make a visualizer yourself. There's already one for like for, made for you. I'm gonna drag that guy in right here. I don't need the audio of that one. So as you guys can see, I'm going to create also a new video track. I'm going to make this logo as long as everything else. So I'm going to place it, I would say, Right there, right there, boom. So as you guys can see right now, we have the logo. There is like a black background. So what you want to do is you want to go over to video effects. You just want to pick uh, the chroma key. You want to drag it on top of the visualizer and you want to pick the, bl the color black, of course. And as you guys can see, you can look through it. It is that awesome, it's that simple. We can look through it, but it so this is how it looks when it's just playing without any music and everything. So what you also see is a little bit black going around. So you need to mess with the like with the, with the chroma key. I'm going to go back to the chroma key and we're going to mess with those markers until it's gone. And I would say, boom, it's gone. Just mess around a little bit with, with the low threshold and let's see how it looks right now. So, but the circle is in the middle and we don't want it to be in the middle. So I'm going to go back to the thumbnail. And as you guys can see, we have a nice stem template. So I'm going to go over to the track motion icon of the track and I'm going to just resize it until it fits exactly on the circle on NCS, make it a little bit taller. And I would say it's gonna make this visualizer dance on the music. So I'm gonna place it right there. Now I'm going to just remove, a, well, well, lower the opacity of the thumbnail and boom guys, as you guys can see, we have a nice video playing an NCS visualizer with a background and a nice NCS logo on the perfect place. So the last thing that you want to do is you just wanna simply drag in your song. So I'm just gonna drag in the song Feel Good. And I would say, this is going to be how it, this is how it looks and I'm going to uh, play it back and this is what we created so far with all the files including in the in, in the folder uh, so with the visualizer applied the logo and the, the background everything everything aligned the circle aligned and the logo aligned with the music underneath it this is what we have created so far So 
that's how it looks guys, so it is that amazing and I'm going to show you guys the full video right now with rendered out in the best quality possible, everything rendered out like you should see it as well. I'm going to play the entire video so you guys can look what we made out of it, so uh, enjoy the video, this is what we made so far, the entire video. So that's how you do it guys, that's how you make it actually move, because in the last video, I think from like March or something, uh, I showed you guys how to make the circle only like sit still, but this is how you make it in Sony Vegas, actually moving as you can see on the music. And of course you can change the color of the circle. So the effect you need is the color corrector secondary one. Drag it on top of the, on the circle. So we can change the color to any color that we like. So you just want to go to the, uh, the top one. And as you guys can see, when we start dragging the colors, it's going to change color. So let's say we want to have like a nice yellow circle. I'm going to make it a little bit brighter like that. And this is how it looks with the, with the circle completely yellow. That's the sum of this. And we, we can even we can even change the color while it's while it's playing. So check it out. Regular color. So 
So that's how you do it guys. So that's it for the video. Thank you guys for liking and commenting on this video. This is how you make the circle actually move on the music. And that's it. That's it. You can just use another color of the circle and another background to make a different video. So that's how, it, that's how it's done. Thank you for watching and I really appreciate the support. Thank you guys for over 45,000 subscribers. It is so crazy. I cannot thank you guys enough for that. So thank you for watching. You're amazing. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Just Alex Halford. <laughs>